we're heading into some mangrove swamps to try and catch a glimpse of one of the strangest animals on the planet. Lucy Cook is in the small country of Brunei, located on the Southeast Asian island of Borneo. And right now she's on the search to find out how some of Borneo's unusual species have adapted to fit this jungle environment. Like a frog that can fly by gliding. Look at, look at his feet, look at this. So he's got these incredible webbed feet and even webbed elbows, he's even webbed here. And that enables him to jump and glide from tree to tree. You're very lucky to see one because... Oh! <laughs> These physical features evolved as a direct adaptation to the environment and are crucial for this frog's survival in the Borneo rainforest. This frog is just one of many creatures that usually don't fly, but here they do. Borneo's home to flying lizards and even flying snakes. And here's why. <laughs> the rainforest of Borneo is the tallest in the world, which means that looking down is really scary. Now I'm up here, I can see if you want to get from this tree to that tree, you don't want to go all the way down to the bottom and then all the way back up again. You're going to evolve big flaps of skin so you can glide. To glide, this paradise tree snake morphs its body, moving its ribs out toward the head to stretch its skin and transform itself from a cylinder into a flattened ribbon, allowing it to avoid the ground and glide from tree to tree with ease. But some of Borneo's creatures don't mind traveling on land, including the fish. Oh wow, there it goes, it's a mud skipper. I cannot resist a fish that walks on land. They are a fish that has learnt to come out of the water and breathe air. So they walk about on their pectoral fins. They're after the insects that hang out by the water's edge. It's a little bit muddy here, but I'm gonna see if I can catch one to show you. Oh, they're fast, man. Oh, look, there's one there. Look, okay, let's see. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I nearly got it. <laughs> For fish out of water, they're still pretty quick. And Borneo's unique adaptations aren't left to animals alone. Plants also evolved their physiology based on their surroundings. And the pitcher plant has developed an appetite for more than sunlight. Ah, these are the famous pitcher plants. It's a plant that eats meat. Named for its pitcher-like shape, the pitcher plant lures insects to its rim with slippery nectar. Once an insect enters, it slides into the pitcher, where it's trapped by the sticky digestive enzymes within. And their spacious interior can attract larger guests as well. Oh, it's moving. <gasps> but what about if I put, close my hand over it like that? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness me, there really is a bat in there. The pitcher plant provides the bat with a place to sleep. And whenever the bat goes to the loo, he provides the plant with valuable nitrogen. <gasps> oh, he's wriggling in my fingers. Yep, got it. As a zoologist, Lucy knows how to handle bats safely without causing them harm. It's the tiniest. There are two. Oh, there's a second one. There were two. I'm going to put it back in its home. That's an incredible piece of evolution that's going to take some beating in the odd stakes because that's truly strange. Borneo's towering rainforests showcase the incredible ways plants and animals adapt to their environment. From flying frogs, to walking fish, to carnivorous plants. The physiology of Borneo's plants and animals highlight the complementary nature of structure and function. I reckon Borneo is a bit like a big evolutionary experiment. Take one island, add a bit too much sunshine and water, not enough nutrients, and leave it alone for a very, very long time, and the result is a carnival of strange. <laughs>